Let's go with an example here. So we have two groups. One is experimental group. The observations are like this: five, six, three, four, two. So five members are there. These are all the observations in experimental group. Now similarly, we have control group. Their data are seven, eight, five, six, and four. Now we want to find out: is there any difference between these two groups or not? So as soon as this kind of question is asked, as usual, first write the formula. T is equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar divided by S D into square root of one by n one plus one by n two. So, as per the formula, what we require first is x one bar. So we have x one here. Now we have to find out x one bar. So the formula for x one bar is sum of x one by n one. Now we have to add all those things. So we have x one sum of x one is twenty. N one is five. So x one bar is twenty by five. It is four. So x1 bar is 4. We got x1 bar. Next, what we need is x2 bar. So we have x2. Let's do the x2 bar formula. The sum of x2 by n2. Sum of x2 is we add all those things. It is 30, and n2 is 5. So x2 bar is 30 by 5 it is 6. Now we got the numerator x1 bar and x2 bar is 0. Now we know n1 also 5, n2 also. Next, we have to find out the S D standard deviation of the difference. The formula is, as we know, sum of x one square minus sum of x one whole square by n one plus sum of x two square minus sum of x two the whole square by n two whole divided by n one plus n two minus two. So this is the formula. What we need first one is sum of x one square. So what we have here is x one. Next, what we have to do is. We have to square this. So first one is x1 square. So 5 square is 25. 3 the next 6 square is 36. 9, 16, and 4. Next is sum of x1 square. X1 square is ready. Then sum of x1 square is 90. We got it. And already we know sum of x1. So this is sum of x1. Already we know it is 20. Then n1. Already we know it is 5. But this part is 4. Next one is this part. Sum of x2 square. Now x2 we have here. We have to find out x2 square. Next column is x2 square. So 7 square 49, 64, 25, 36, and 16. What we need is sum of x2 square. So just we have to add all those things. It is 190. Then already we know sum of x2. So this is x2. Sum of x2 already we know it is 30. And n2 also we know it is five. Now substitute all the values in the formula. It will be like this: 90 minus 20 squared by five plus 190 minus 30 squared by five divided by five plus five minus two. This square root. So it's going to be square root of 90 minus 400 by five plus 190 minus 900 by five divided by 10 minus two. The square root of 90 minus 20 plus 190 minus 40 by 8, so we'll get S D as 4.031. This is standard deviation of difference is 4.031. So now we know x1 bar, we know x2 bar, we know, and S D also. Now use it in the t-test formula. So this is the t-test formula. So that is 4 minus 6 divided by 4.031. Multiplied by square root of one by five plus one by five, so it's going to be t is equal to zero point seven eight five. So this t is nothing but the calculated t value. And what we have is calculated t value. So according to hypothesis testing steps, next one is we have to find out the table value. To find out table value, we need two parameters. One is level of significance. This already we fixed zero point zero five. Next, DF, degrees of freedom for independent t-test. The formula is n1 plus n2 minus 2. In this case, 5 plus 5 minus 2, so DF is 8. So we have the two data: DF 8, level of significance 0.05. With these two available data, we'll find out the table value. So this is the table for t-test. T-test table. So you can see the first column here is DF. This is DF. So in this case, DF is eight. 
So here DF is 8. So this row we have to check. Now if you see the top first row here is one tail and two tail test probability values. So this are we'll take two tails test and we fix level of significance 0 0.05. So 0 0.05 is here. So corresponding value to this is 2.306 corresponding to this is 2.306. Now this is the table value. So calculated value is 0.785. Table value is 2.306. Now we have to conclude. So as per the rule, the calculated value T 0.785 is less than the table value 2.306. We have to accept the null hypothesis saying that there is no difference between experimental and control group. Hence, reject the recess hypothesis saying that there is significant between these two groups is rejected.